Conscious Straight Talk with Katie and Lindsay. Hi, my name is Katie Hutchinson, and I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I'm also a certified mediator. And it's 10 a.m. and I'm drinking a Coca-Cola. <laughs> my tummy's <laughs> Sometimes you got to do that with the blood sugar, right? Yes. yes. I'm Lindsay Kearns, the mama behind MalibuMamaLoves.com, and I'm also a certified conscious trauma-informed life coach. We have kind of a fun episode to talk to you about today. I mean, it's not fun if Is you're in fun? the situation, but it's fun to talk about the situation. <laughs> and that's how to get your partner back. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. <laughs> well, this one specifically is how to get your guy back. But men, we haven't forgotten about you. We're going to do a whole episode, episode episode on how to get your girl back. And being that we're girls, we we, we know. know what to do. Yeah, we do know what to do. And given at this point in our lives with your dating experience, yes, I've had my lack people, thereof. <laughs> I've, I've had lots of people leave me. I'm not wonderful. So we we kind of have a little bit of an idea of how this works now mm-hmm. at this point. So we just kind of wanted to inspire conversations with you guys um, on how, what do you do when you're in that situation, when you've been dumped or you are dumping your partner and wanting to move on, but then deciding you made a mistake and you want that person back. Yeah. What do you do? It's horrible. It's, I've been through it a number, <laughs> number of times. But, okay, number one, I think you need to recognize, or we all need to look at, who broke up with whom, right? right? So if you broke up with him, and then usually women's, and I don't want to say all of our, all of us, but, you know, it's usually not, not always, but society tells us, especially women, that we're not okay alone. Do you not agree? Right. Yeah. Without even telling us, it tells us, right? Mm-hmm. It insinuates to us that we're not okay. Well, and we've talked about that before, yeah. how it's society presses us to start dating right mm-hmm. away or find that mate or be in love, right. be happy, the white picket fence exactly. with the, what is it, golden retriever dog. And, exactly. You know I mean? Or God Two forbid. Two and a half children. <laughs> exactly. And God forbid, you know, you're alone. I mean, people keep asking, are you dating somebody? When are you going to date somebody? Are you going to date somebody? Are you going to date somebody? You know what? I I always love when you meet that person because they are out there that turns around and they're like, no, I'm fine by myself. I'm doing my thing right now. I I actually met somebody that was dating themselves for a year. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. She gave herself, she said one year, I'm not going to date anyone else, but I'm going to go out on dates Mm -hmm. like myself Uh and treat myself and, you know, that's really amazing. And that's and one she of did our it. tips. She did it for 12 full months. That's what you should do. And that's one of our tips. But the first one is who broke up with whom? So women, if you broke up with your man, be honest with yourself. Yeah. Don't go into hind brain cro- crocodile mode and right away go back with the person. Cause that's what most of us want to do. I know I've wanted to do that pretty much every time in the past. Yeah. Be honest, write a list of the pros and the cons and really take mm. the time to reflect. And we'll come back to that later. I love that, that time. I love that yes. doing the pros and cons list. It is so enlightening. And if you can't be honest with yourself, enlist a friend or a family member that can really like hold you accountable. Yeah. You know what I mean? For sure. Someone that knows the relationship and knows what you went through. Yeah. But isn't going to be mean about it, but still is going to be assertive Sometimes about it. Sometimes you need a little tough love. Sometimes we need a little mean. I guess you're right. <laughs> And then if the man, ladies, broke up with you, you are going to stop the contact and you're going to reflect. You just need to stop the contact. And we will get into that into more detail. I know I left something out that was very important. And that is, it's very important, women, for you to find out why the man did what he did to try to get to the root of the problem. Obviously, you're not there yet. But right. it's really important to start thinking about, was it communication? What could it have been? You right. know what I mean? Right. Especially if you're having those feelings that you want that person back. Oh, yeah. You really need to get to the root cause of what what caused this breakup. Mm-hmm. Why did this happen? Yeah. So, yeah, I totally and I, I do feel, I have a three-day rule for myself. Um, mm-hmm. A bunch of my girlfriends, we do this too. With a breakup or any kind of really bad news that you get, you give yourself three days to cry, mm-hmm. drink, do whatever you do. Mm-hmm. Get it out of your system. Feel horrible. And on that fourth day, that's it. No more. You have you the have three day rule. Yeah. yeah. Some people do two weeks. Mm-hmm. I've heard of that. I have a month. You do I have a month, month rule See? that if you break up with somebody or they break up with you, you take a month because the first two weeks, you don't even know what's going on. But I totally agree with you that you give yourself Okay, I'm in a month of not contacting. Should I say? I'm well, I know. I was in like, bed. You can't spend a month in bed. Well, Katie. I would like to spend a month in bed, <laughs> but I say a good. If you need to give yourself a week or whatever, it depends yeah. on the length of the relationship. Well, I liked, and maybe it's just because I'm too 
active and to like yeah. I hold myself to a standard, but mm-hmm. I'm like three days, that's it. Mm-hmm. Three days. And then on that fourth day, you wake up, you're refreshed. You got all that pain out. You've addressed it, you know, and cause you don't want to lose motivation. You've already lost a relationship. You don't want to go down that steady slope. Well, like okay. I did for years. Yes. And well, after my is- divorce. After my divorce, we were together for 10 years. I mean, we were together 12 years, but married for 10. So when I was broken up with and cheated on, I was just, I didn't even know what was going on for about three or four months. It depends on that length of time that you were with somebody. So I didn't allow myself to mourn. I just went right back to work. See, and that's that. And then I crashed. Three days would have helped you. Then I crashed (laughs) big time. I crashed big time. So. Take but a lot time. of people do that. Yeah. They're so quick, you know? And it, it, yeah. But you really do have to give yourself that permission to say, okay, exactly. I'm going through a lot. I'm experiencing a lot of emotions right now. I need to just slow it down, mm-hmm. you know, and experience And that's that. okay. It's okay if you watch Netflix all day and eat Ben and Jerry's on the couch for two weeks or for a few days. Yeah. Ooh. Or a week. <laughs> Not for too long. If you're in it for too long, enlist a friend or a family member. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. What's our number three or four? What is it? If he broke up with you, don't contact him for a little, at least a week or two. Oh, oh. You like to say a month. A month. Four weeks, lady. Four weeks. And you got to be tough about it. This means no stalking, of which I've done in the past. And I'm not above (laughs) saying this. Of course, I was like 16. I've. I've risen above this at this point, I think. <laughs> um, no texting, no calling. Stay off their social media. Stay off their social media. Do not blast them on your own social media. Do well, not- and the thing is, you know, it's just going to be get more pain. Oh, yeah. And there's no point to that. You're already hurting. Let yourself heal and figure mm-hmm. out what went wrong. Mm-hmm. And if there really is something worth saving there. Exactly. But it's very important. A couple other things is to 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 block them i think but here's the issue with blocking that i have found out in the past yeah then you don't know what they're saying to you however this is a good thing because good or bad if you haven't blocked them you're just waiting you're just waiting have you not had that i understand that but my issue is when you block them they find other numbers to start texting you with and that doesn't go well well then you're going to block them again on that (laughs) you're going to block them again on that and another thing is but blocking, I know you're a big fan of it, and I know it does I'm a help. Big, I'm a big fan I of blocking. I know it does help. I'm a huge fan of blocking. The other thing is, don't call their friends and their family and talk about how, you know, depressed you are. Even though you are, talk to your own support system. Can I tell you a little something about blocking, though, that you might not know? I already know that you can't see the stuff. You can. It goes into a section in your phone. If you've blocked the person, it goes into a different message section, so you don't see it. Oh. But it's stored there. I know. So that's why blocking uh, sometimes is kind of But you can you still just check. gave it away because <laughs> I didn't know that. So I just thought it was just a great way to go. Well, but that's the purpose, right? So you don't even know it's there. Yeah. But you can if you and want to. And it's good because you stop waiting and you stop looking yeah. at your phone like a total whatever. And then one other thing is stop going to the places where the two of you frequent yeah. or did used to frequent or you know where he frequents. And there is a special time when you will do that coming up, but not in the first month. Yeah. And the thing is, if he did break up with you, that's a clear sign that he needs some space, that something is going on with him. Mm -hmm. So you really need to allow him that space Mm -hmm. so that he can miss you, Mm -hmm. so that he can understand the mistakes that you think that he made. (laughs) And you know what? As a generalization, men don't see any value in a woman that's begging. That's Listen, true. I'm not above that either. I was okay. going to say, a lot of women don't find value in a man that's, that's going to true. that level. Like, that's we like true. to be wooed, but when you but take not it like to... gross wooed. Yeah, another yep. level, it's like, ooh. You that's know? true. And you also, you really want to reflect on your feelings because mm-hmm. you can find happiness within. Mm-hmm. That's really the only well, place you can find that's it. That's the only place you can find it. And working on your own self-confidence is going to help you in every area of your life. Yeah, right? for sure. So not only in your relationships and your work relationships with everything, your friendships, etc. Yeah. Well, and they always say that the best um, revenge is success. To, exactly. It's to feel good about yourself. To you just know live I mean? a good, healthy, happy mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. Right? Go about that. your own path. Your Do own your hobbies. thing. Focus on your feelings. Create your space. Mm-hmm. And if you guys become realigned again at some point, great. If mm-hmm. not... The best revenge is not 
gunning up their butts and calling them all the time and trying to put yourself in there. Let them that miss you. Makes you that makes them that makes them push you away even further, which is yeah. not what you want. It's the opposite of what we think, right? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. You gotta let them miss you. No, I agree. So okay, so the next thing is now here's a time you've gone like through a month of misery for five days on the couch, three weeks, but you've survived it. You've right? survived. You've survived it. Now's the time to make him jealous. Okay? <laughs> now, listen, a lot of people are against this. I am not against this. And yes, I am a therapist and I am not against this. Now, here are some things that we can do. You can have a party and invite some of his friends at your house. Don't invite him, obviously. Don't say anything about him to his friends and all your friends. And you just have the best time in the world. And guess what? That will get back to him. Mm -hmm. You're so funny. Mm -hmm. That will get back to him. I'm not a jealous person, so I don't. Oh, that would make you jealous. Like that. that would make you jealous. I'd be glad. Have fun. You would. <laughs> you're gonna dump me. Peace out. No. Okay. Your other <laughs> option is if you're maybe however old you are, and you guys would go to a bar or a certain club. Now you've had enough time to reflect. You show up at that bar, that club, and you look amazing yeah but you do it for you you do it for you and to make the person a little jealous in this instance you're, so you're gonna funny. look amazing and you're gonna be very very kind mm -hmm. when you see this person you say hello how are you doing blah 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 that's it that's it walk then away. you walk away and you go have the best time of your life and don't look back and don't look at him don't look back no exactly don't <laughs> but look you back. really want to be honest about what went wrong Mm -hmm. Don't sit there and become one of those victims and all oh, this. It does take two to tango mm -hmm. and you need to be honest with, you know, the things that led to whatever happened. Right. Because, so, yeah, you know, you have to acknowledge that you are at fault on some level too. Yeah. I know? mean, it's very rarely <laughs> just <laughs> one person. She was just calling the person. I was trying to pick her up. It's very <laughs> rarely that it's just one person. Unless mm -hmm. of course you're dealing with abuse or personality disorders so it's really important to look at yourself too and say, and look at your family and where yeah. you've come from and what you've learned. I, I tell Lindsay all the time, I learned from my dad who I love so much, but that I could have a complete temper tantrum and scream and yell at him. And he could scream and yell at me and we could get into the worst fight in the world, but we still loved each other more than anything would never leave each other. Well, your dad and your husband or boyfriend is a different situation. Yeah. Right? Right? Yep, your partner. So I feel like we have more tips, but I feel like we're starting to run short on time. What do you <laughs> we think? We are. I think we'll come back again on Wednesday. We're going to talk more about how to get your woman back. But we didn't even hit I like five more tips. We got right. five more tips. Do one more. We'll do one more. We'll, we'll do one on, we'll do one on uh, Wednesday. Okay. We'll let them wait. So just allow this to marinate. <laughs> right? Simmer, marinate. marinate. What's the thing? Marinate. You're funny. Hello, All right, you guys. I hope you have a great Monday. We'll yes. be back again on Wednesday to discuss more of these fun topics. Mm -hmm. It is fun to talk about. You know oh, what I mean? Come on. I'm normalizing this. Well, she hasn't been through it, but normalizing I'm... this is, you know, people need to talk about these things. You shouldn't feel we embarrassed need about it. There's nothing to be embarrassed no. about. Most it's of life. Us have been there. Yes. All right, you guys. We'll okay. see you Wednesday. Bye. Bye. Bye.